Do you play Dual Universe? Do you enjoy PvP in Dual Universe? Do you want to get an advantage in your next PvP battle? You want your ship to be back up and running shortly after it's destroyed and not lose any more ships? Do you want to find out where the other guy stores his ship when he logs off? Do you want a free ride from one planet or moon to another without asking permission? Well, stay tuned. Hey everybody, it's Cappy Smack. Okay, I'm here today on this stream, ever so briefly in this game, to set up a what would be a PvP exploit. We're going to prove it out. So we're going to do that. So he's going to hop on Cappy Smack's ship. He's going to log off while he's standing on that ship and then Cappy Smack is going to crash that ship and we're going to see if uh, Cappy Smack 2 here can log in and be on be sit, standing on that crash ship that's the test if that test works then that is a PvP exploit because all you need is an alternate character with good repair skills that you would use to repair your PvP ship whenever your PvP ship gets blown up. Alright, that's that's the thing. That's it. That's what we're going to do. So, I'm going to speak as little as I can and we'll see how, see how this works. Alright, so Cappy Smack 2, and this guy's Cappy Smack, by the way. Cappy Smack 2 doesn't have any scrap, so I have to give him some scrap. And you're gonna need, you know, he's gonna need at least 2,000 scrap to make this work. Oh, I got a lot of scrap. Uh, it's got to be tier 4. Well, let's make it tier 5. It's easier to work with. But you really should use n yeah, nothing less than tier 4. But I'm, I don't really want to mess around with whatever. So let's give him 2,000. We'll make it tier 5. And I don't give my alternate character's ability to remove things from containers. I just give them the ability to drop things, so I may have to adjust some RDMS rights. But we'll see. Hey, there you go. So now the dude's got some scrap. Meanwhile, I'm going to go prepare the ship. Five minutes later. So we're gonna have to use um, probably this one. It's already been damaged, as you can see. And this ship is what I'm gonna use. So I'm gonna stand here and log off. And my friend is gonna hop on and log off. Five minutes later. Put some production value in it. while I wait for my base to load in. Five minutes later. So he needs to grab the 2,000 scrap. Goes in his nano pack. He has a pocket rocket just in case something goes massively wrong.
and good old Cappy Smack too, which you can see, is going to be standing on a ship logged off when it crashes. You're probably wondering, why would you ever do that? Well, I did it by mistake one day, and I said, what the fuck? And I recreated my steps, and uh, you can be staying on some ship and be logged off, you're going to go for a ride. Logged off. But he's going to stand on this ship, doesn't matter where, doesn't have to be in a seat. Frankly, he doesn't have RDMS rights to even sit in a seat. But you don't need RDMS rights to enter a ship. And if you do, then give your friend RDMS rights. Whatever. But this guy's going to log off. Alright, good old Cappy Smack had to drop the contents of his nano pack someplace safe. Because I don't want to run the risk of losing factory prints because those those things are expensive. And time consuming. So everything that's on Cappy Smack now, just to prove that's who I am, is what he can die with. Because the goal is to kill Cappy Smack. And his friend is standing right about there. Uh, logged off. And I already know I can take him for a ride. That's already been done. You can see a video on YouTube for that. This test is to figure out, can we crash this ship with my friend standing on it when he logs in? Or what happens when he does log in? That's the real question. And now I need fuel. Because none of this is going to be any fun if I don't have enough fuel. Although, you know, the goal is to crash it, so I don't know, who cares? Let's just do it. I think I'm gonna take it up and just plop it into the ground right near my, right near where I took off. Heading in that direction. Because I meant to hit all four. I just want a convenient way to find out, you know, how close I am to the point where I'm going to die. I'm not super great at crashing, so I might fuck that up too. But I think I just have it pointed towards the ground and, you know, face plant. I don't take care of it. I think hitting the ground at a thousand kilometers per hour should just about kill me. I hate doing this.
it is so inconvenient to fix ships. Collided with the seat. Oh, that's nice. Oh, I like that. And I'm on board one of my ships after I load in. Um, can I can I leave? Oh, you can just walk straight through. <laughs> oh, the glass wasn't even loaded in yet. I just walked straight through what would have been glass. Super awesome. God, I love this game. It is so fucking buggy, it's not even funny. So I'm logging off. You can't see that. See, I, the game doesn't care what dynamic core a character happens to be standing on. I'm Cappy Smack 2 is standing on a destroyed ship. And this would work whether I'm on a planetary surface, a moon surface, or in space. Cappy Smack 2 is now standing in the ship because that's where he was when he logged out. Let's see if he has... Oh, he's got scrap. Look at that. Now I could have Cappy Smack 2 chocked full of nothing but scrap at this point. He could be my scrap carrier that stands on my ship when my ship gets destroyed. And now Cappy Smack 2 can just go ahead and fix it. He's got scrap. He said, they say I don't have enough because of linked containers. Can he fix it? He doesn't own it. And what do you know? My buddy, who happens to be me, can fix my ship. He doesn't own it. I mean, who does own it? Um, he doesn't even have enough rights to see who owns it. So, anybody can fix your ship if they have enough scrap, apparently. But just in case it doesn't work, you'd have to adjust RDMS rights because you're trying to exploit the game. Now, I don't think it's a real exploit. This is just the way the game was built. I think Novacork would call it an exploit once they become aware that people are doing it, even though this is the way they built it. This is their this is their game architecture, their grand design. And obviously they didn't think anybody was ever going to do this. Or what, they would block you from logging in? I don't even know how you, how they could fix it. Can't log in if you're standing on a destroyed ship that you don't own? I don't know, man. But here it is. Cappy Smack 2 is fixing a ship that's been destroyed. Could be in space. Doesn't matter where it is. Dynamic cores are dynamic, are dynamic cores no matter where they happen to be sitting. All you got to do is tell your buddy via Discord, Hey, my ship is destroyed. Will you log in, please, and fix it? Thank you. Or, if it's your alternate character, just use telepathy, man. Just think real hard. Oh, yeah, i got to lock that other guy in so he can fix it. And once it's been repaired, the guy who died has to go back out to the ship. Might be better if the guy who repairs it can actually fly it. I didn't adjust RDMS rights. This is just a test. 
But if you really wanted this to work for PvP, you would want to make sure whomever repairs the ship is able to fly it to a safe place. Or fly it to go pick up the guy who died. But someone's got to die for this to work. But you already knew that because you're doing PvP. 2,000 years later. And Cappy Smack's gonna log back in. Okay, so where did my ship crash? Pretty sure that wouldn't make it into a POI. Um, do I still need to know the name of the silly thing? No, that's not it. Probably going to be this guy. Two hundred seventy five meters away. Nope, it's not that guy. That guy is too close and in the wrong place. Um, where else would it be? Really nice if they could make this easier. Oh, right there. It'd still be nice if they could make it easier. Two thousand years later. And that's not even where the ship is. They say it's 770 meters in that direction, when it's actually right here. Fortunately, my buddy fixed the door, so I'll have to do his enter. That's really not what I wanted. Alt six. There you go. And so now, good old Cappy Smack. He's gonna land the ship, and his buddy's gonna hop off. Just like in the last video I did. And everything about this is the same as that.
Let's recap what you just watched. You watched a game exploit scenario. The ship that Cappy Smack 2 logged off on could have been anybody's ship. It certainly wasn't his ship. Now, you just need to be standing on or in the ship you want to log off to stow, to stow away, if that's your goal. You have to be on it or in it. You don't have to enter the ship. If the door is locked and you can't get in, just climb up on top of the ship. Any part of the ship, it doesn't matter. Of course, if you're going to use this in PvP, you would want to give the person who's going to help you RDMS rights. If you want to do some corporate espionage and figure out where your competitor's base is, so you can do some shenanigans, if that works, then you don't need to have RDMS rights. You can just hop up on top of the ship anywhere, and when you log in, that's exactly where you'll be. So, I think this is a pretty cool exploit. Now, I don't know how Novacork would patch it, because this is their game design. So, um, have fun. We'll catch you later. If you like the content you've seen on this channel, be sure to like, subscribe, and share. Make sure you hit that bell icon, because then you'll get notified whenever I publish another interesting and important video. And thank you very much for subscribing.